Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today I am doing a review and performance review of the Western Digital MyBook Duo 16 terabyte external storage solution. Yes, I said 16 terabytes. This thing is massive. Who should watch this video and why should you care? There's two groups of people who should watch this video. Number one, you want to add tons of extra storage space to your computer. You're out of space. You want to add extra space. You want great performance. You want something that you'll not outgrow for many years. You have tons of files all over the place and you want to put them into a single option plugged into your machine. That's group number one. You should be watching the video. You came to the right place. Group number two are people who want data security. This drive has built-in encryption, which will scramble your data so only you can read it. So if somebody grabs this and runs off with it, they can't read it. It doesn't do them any good. It's complete junk. It also offers something called mirroring or RAID 1. You can configure this so that it duplicates the data between the drives so that if one drive fails, you don't lose your data. A big red light shows up saying, hey, we have a problem. The drives are user accessible. You can swap them out without having to return it to Western Digital to replace a failed drive. Now, those are the two groups of people who should watch this video. I'm going to address the first group first, and we'll talk about the second one in a second. Performance. This thing has amazing sequential transfer performance. It's about 80% faster. I'll give you the numbers briefly. The MyBook Duo is 290 megabytes per second. It's not double. Double would have been 320, but it's close. That is almost a gigabyte every three seconds. That's pretty quick. In 30 seconds, you'll copy 10 gigabytes of data. If you have music, movies, photos, large documents, large files, backups, if you're copying sequentially transferred data, this thing rocks. Now here's the flip side. If you're thinking, boy, my computer's out of space and I'd like to buy a drive because I'm going to install all my games and applications to it and run them right off the drive, you can do that. But if you're going to do that, buy the MyBook, not the MyBook Duo. Why? Because random read and write performance of the Duo is slower than the MyBook. You use random transfer rates when you are running programs and sequential transfer rates when you're copying stuff. These are the crystal disk mark numbers of the MyBook Duo. Read and write speeds are excellent, up to 367 megabytes per second read speed, 333 megabytes write speed. Now, these are theoretical maximums tested in a benchmark. They're never quite this fast in real life, but that's true across all of them, so it's fine. What I really want you to look at, though, is the read speeds of line two and line four. These are random performance. This is what you're going to get when you're running Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Grand Theft Auto, that kind of stuff. 0.7 megabytes a second and 0.96 megabytes a second. Now, it's a hard drive, so those numbers will never be great. But here's what happens when you run it on one drive only, the MyBook. 1.5 and 1.35. Interestingly enough, with a Q depth of 32, the MyBook is faster than with a Q depth of 1. But the MyBook Duo is faster with a Q depth of 1 rather than 32. Now, I did not run these numbers one time. I spent some time actually playing with these. I updated the drivers. I actually even tried switching the USB ports they were physically plugged into, rebooted the machine, and ran the tests again. I am comfortable with these numbers. In short, sequential transfer performance, there's no beating the MyBook Duo. Random performance, if you want to install your games and applications and programs, Get just the MyBook. It's faster for that purpose. Now, just to show you a really quick copy so that you can get an idea of what to expect in the real world, this is a 26 gigabyte file that I'm copying from the internal SSD, the solid state drive, to the MyBook Duo. We're getting about 290 megabytes per second. This is real world performance. If you go out, 
click on Amazon, click on my link in the description below, buy one of these, plug it in, hook it up, and start copying files. This is exactly what you can expect to get. Assuming you're copying the files from a source that can provide data at this speed. Keep in mind, this is a solid state drive in here. If you're copying from a hard drive or a USB thumb drive or something slower, it will run at the speed of the slowest device. It is what it is. Now, that being said, I mentioned there were two groups of people who should be interested in this. Well, before I mention group number two, let me summarize. Tons of space, 16 terabytes, awesome sequential performance, great, absolutely go buy one. $550, 16 terabytes of space, you can't beat it. Couple of other features I mentioned, it is user serviceable. It does open in the top so that you can uh, remove the hard drives and replace them individually. It does have a USB 3 hub in the back. There are two USB ports in the back you can plug additional devices into. You could even daisy chain these if you wanted more of them. Now, go ahead and cancel that. If you decide to buy this, if this review was helpful, please remember to use my links in the video description below. They are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission and I would certainly appreciate it. That's how you can support my channel. I was not sent this for free. I bought this off of Amazon and I definitely need a place to put all the 4K videos I've been uploading lately. They take up space. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel, the big red button down there. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go in the section below the video. I appreciate it. On to group number two, data mirroring. If you want protection, let me minimize all this. If you're group number one, we're done. I don't have anything else to say about the performance and just 16 terabytes of space, but group number two, I'm glad you stuck around because Western Digital Security. This is a program, I've already installed all the apps that came on it. You basically click an icon, it installs everything. Um, Western Digital Security will let you put a password on this drive. This is encryption. It scrambles the information so that the drive cannot be read to, um, cannot be read from without entering the password. Now, be warned, if you forget the password, your data is gone forever. This is specifically designed not to be broken. It says right here, warning, Western Digital cannot retrieve your password. If you forget your password, you will permanently lose access to your data. Why would you care about this? Well, maybe you have sensitive documents. Maybe you have a business or, or personal situation where you want to store your files, even if somebody broke into your home or your school or your office, physically stole this off of your desk, ran off with it, plugged it into their own machine, ripped the drives out, put them in their own machine, and tried to access the data. It would be pointless. They could not read the information. Without the password, it's useless. Now, you might be thinking, oh no, does this mean I have to enter my password every time I turn my computer on? Maybe. There's a checkbox here that says enable auto unlock for this computer, which means if this is plugged into this computer, it'll auto unlock, put the password in, and off you go. But if it's plugged into a different computer, it won't. On one hand, this is convenient for you. On the other hand, if somebody breaks into your home, school, or work and steals both the computer and the drive, well, they can just plug the drive into the computer and use it. Unless, of course, you also have password protection on your computer, but most password protection on computers is not as secure as you'd think it is. There are versions of it, BitLocker drive encryption and a few others, which are relatively secure, but keep in mind, security is only as good as the weakest link. If you truly care about security, you will leave that unchecked and require typing in the password every time you boot up the machine and make sure to shut down whenever you're not using it or at the very least lock the machine. So that is encryption. Mirroring, I'm gonna open up the Western Digital Drive Utilities. RAID Management, it's the second tab over. Now, RAID status, RAID zero striped. RAID 0 is striping the data as it's written to the two drives, which is why we have such great performance. If I click Configuration, I have the option of Stripe, Mirror, or Individual Drives, just a bunch of disks. Mirror cuts your storage space in half, but mirrors your data. 
it copies the identical data to both drives. If one drive fails, you still have your data. A big red light shows up, no worries. You open this up, replace the failed hard drive. It will rebuild it by copying everything from the good drive over to the new drive. And you can keep using your drive while it does this. In fact, there's even a feature to do this offline. There is a small reset switch back here which has to be hit with a paper clip. It's a very small recessed hole. You can disconnect this from the computer. It still needs power, but disconnect it from the computer, put the new drive in, push the paper clip into the reset switch, and it will rebuild offline. Go put it on your bookshelf, and it's good to go. Keep in mind that switching between striped and mirrored deletes anything on the drive. So you have to do this to an empty drive. You cannot make this switch while there's stuff on the drive. Individual drives just a bunch of disks actually does what you might think it is, individual drives. It actually creates two separate drives. You'll have two drive letters in Windows, just as if they were two completely separate drives, each eight terabytes each. There's certainly somebody out there who wants to use that configuration. I don't know who, but there's somebody. You could. But if you're doing that, it would be less expensive to buy two MyBooks which are $250 each at the time I did this video. Link in the description below. So two eight terabyte MyBooks by themselves would be 500, whereas this is 550. What you're paying the extra $50 for um, is the fact that you can mirror them and you can stripe them. And you're getting a user accessible enclosure as opposed to a non you cannot open the straight MyBook. Well, you can, but you destroy it in the process and you void your warranty. Only change this when the drive is empty and if you need it. Data backups. I need to do a whole video on this, but I'm going to mention this really briefly because it deserves a mention. This is what I use for data backups. Backblaze, $5 a month. $50 a year or $95 for two years, unlimited backups, they'll back up everything. Check all your drives, don't even bother with the files, it backs up everything with the exception of installed programs. This is not designed to back up your Windows install, but it backs up all of your data, uh, pictures, music, movies, files. I personally have about 13 terabytes worth of data backed up with Backblaze. They have not complained. It took a while at first until they updated their software, and their software now runs 10 threads and will utilize a good backup connection. I use it to back up the videos I upload to YouTube, among other things. All the data is currently backed up, and whenever I copy new files, even if it is 100 gigabytes, within a day or two, it's all backed up to Backblaze. I will have a link in the video description below to Backblaze. That, yes, of course, is an affiliate link. All it gets me is one month of service, but it also gives you a free month of service. So if you would like to try it out, they have a free trial. And if you use the link in my description below, you get a free month of service, and I get a free month of service, and we're both happy. It does not give me any money. They don't pay me anything, but you know, it'll help me out in the sense that it'll help cover my backup bills. You get a free month, and at $5 a month, that's not a bad deal. That software will back up external USB drives. If you buy a drive like this and you want to back up your data and you've got it either in mirrored or striped mode, what are you going to do with all that data? What happens if you have a fire, theft, flood, virus, user error, that sort of thing? Now, I will be the first to admit that if you back up 8 or 16 terabytes of data over the internet, and you want to restore that data, it might take a while. No worries, Backblaze has you covered. They have got a feature, which is, well, it's somewhere on there. I should have had it pulled up. There it is. You can download a free restore of one file or all your files anywhere in the world. There is also the option to have a flash drive or an external four terabyte hard drive FedEx to you for $189. But here's the cool part. For $189, they'll send you a four terabyte drive. If you actually have 16 terabytes of data, well, you'll need four drives or almost $800. Not to worry, once you've got the data off those drives, 
if within 30 days you send them those drives back, they'll refund your money. They're not interested in charging you for that, it's just they have to because they're sending you out a drive. If you send those drives back within 30 days, there's no charge. So within two to three days, you could have all 16 terabytes of data restored to your desktop and all you're out is the trouble of having to return the drives to them and of course providing a credit card to front them the cost of the drives, but they will take them back. Backblaze is an awesome company. Um, I've been using them for about two years now and I'm very, very happy with them and I recommend you go check them out. So did you like this video? Give it a like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel, the big red button right down there. Comments, questions, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the section below the video is for. If you use any of the links in my description below, they will help me out. Now Backblaze gives me a month free, no money, but I would appreciate it. The My Book Duo and the My Book will both be linked down there, as well as the links to the other video reviews I have done on this. If you decide to buy either of these drives, please use my links to Amazon. They are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission. It is my primary revenue source for my videos. And if you've watched my videos, you've heard me say that too many times. But what can I say? I buy everything you see in my videos. I don't get any of this as a free sample. And your support will let me keep making more videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.